another day, another dollar. Another one. Larry What's up, Love, bro, another one. DJ Caliber. Yeah, man, we back, man, working like we ain't never left the gym, man. Nah, for real, What's for up, real. Man? For real. You, feel good. Feel good, man. You know, week after, it's the all-star break weekend aftermath. I'm and still recuperating. I know. you was. I, I actually stayed in the house, man. For real? Saturday. Well, I DJ Thursday and Monday. But I didn't DJ during the weekend. I, I did DJ DJ Monday and I Thursday. I crashed, man. We did 10 straight days. 10 straight days. You working, brother? Crash. So that means it's work, man. But speaking of work, we got a line of hit makers in the building, man. Working. Oh, boy. All work, no yeah. play, you know what I'm talking about? This long overdue, my boy. Oh, so y'all been plugged in oh, together. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, this old. Oh, so this is this is this is what's supposed to happen two years ago interview. Right? You feel me? Vito okay. is like, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's, he's like a brother to me. You That's know what hard. I like what he does. And uh, I mean, God damn, the boy is everywhere. Yeah, man. he is. I'm man. just trying to be rich. See, like, I'm just trying to be rich like y'all. Y'all can't be all the niggas getting money. Nah, nah, nah. I'm trying to I'm be like y'all. Y'all getting all I'm, the I'm, money. I'm, I'm definitely tell you still right working. Now, you don't want these rich problems. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. I definitely don't have them yet. So I don't even know how I feel to have rich problems yet. Yeah, so Atlanta Hitmakers, so what is it that Atlanta Hitmakers do? What, what's going on? Well, we are the number one independent music video countdown of the world. That's hard. You know, talking about, That's hard. Uh, we are seen in five different cities, Atlanta, Chicago, Detroit, Los Angeles, and Minneapolis, Okay. as well as five different Roku channels, Amazon, uh, all the streaming platforms. Out okay, there, word, 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 word. So like it's that. just the way for independent artists to get, you know what I'm saying, play on national television. Right, right, right. In which, that's a hard thing these days, Vito. Mm. Much. What sparked your interest? Um, to, we're working with art, indie artists because you do camera, you do the camera thing. Yes, sir. So what sparked your interest to you know work with artists? I'm artists not. I'm know? not gonna lie to you. Uh, a couple years back, and I, I'm not gonna tell my age, but a couple years back, I used to be an artist myself, and it okay. wasn't any art outlet for artists. You know what I'm saying? Out in the street and shit. So um, I met Arnell one time before he died, and um, you know I was just like, yo, that shit is like the boom. That's mm -hmm. it. Yeah, I Arnell. know. I remember Arnell in the streets of it. That's, that's old Atlanta. That's Who's Ar yeah. Cause that, I, I, you, I, let you said Arnell. I was like, who was Arnell? So ex reiterate, who was I'm Arnell? Gonna let, I'm gonna let him explain. Cause my, if you don't know who Arnell Star is, bro, they had a show in it's like an independent hip hop show. They should come on on TV, and I should see him on all the different college campuses talking to like so rap. Was he the one that was bringing everybody from New York? Like, uh, was that? I don't. Who was bringing? I seen a Lil like John in the East Side interview him. with him that I can remember. Lil yeah. John and him. That's the only one that I can remember in my he head. Was, he was basically he was the ambassador for Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? He was put it on for Atlanta artists for a long time. Yeah, yeah. And 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 that kind of made me it's like, oh shit, Arnell. Oh well, rest in peace, Arnell. Yeah. And I was like, oh shit. Well, ain't nobody in New York putting on for Atlanta. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I just decided to fucking put on for Atlanta. Yeah. That's dope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta have a grown woman in your life, Vito, if that's from Atlanta to know about who Arnell Starr is. Hey, listen, she gotta, a, she gotta be older. I, she gotta I be like older than like 37, 38 plus. I don't want to tell my That's the only reason that I know. No, I'm like saying that's the, the, the only reason that I know. No, I'm like trying to tell him that's the only reason that I know who Arnell Starr. That's why I was confident in my answer, nigga. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm saying? that's the only reason that I know who Arnell Starr was because I had to, she went she was in the Freaknik days. So hey, if it was I a female in Atlanta, my age. you know what I'm saying? If it was a female <laughs> in Atlanta that that you know that was in the Freaknik days, then they got some stories, boy. Hey, I got a Freaknik story, story for you. Okay. So listen, uh, I don't know if you were all, you know, there's a lot of young viewers and a lot of young right. Anyway. So I'm in Freak Nick, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting my jug on him. Mm, <laughs> I get mm, your jug mm, on, I mm, feel you. Mm. And so I see this bad ass bitch. She, she busting it open in the back yeah. of the car. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm going to watch this In the back shit. of the car. <laughs> oh, yeah. As soon as I turned around to reach in the window to touch the pussy, the motherfucking APD <laughs> reached around and grabbed the handcuffs. Oh, Come no. <laughs> oh, man. That's a real Freaknik story. Yeah, that's a real Freaknik story. So Atlanta was really wild back in the day. Right? Atlanta's still wild. Yeah. Shit is crazy. It was wild and fun back then. It's still wild. Now, now it's wild, now and, wild dangerous. and dangerous, goddamn. Wild <laughs> and dangerous is here. It was, it was wild and fun back then, but now we're talking about a wild, wild west for real. I believe in, um, I, I read the 48 law, laws of power like every day. Okay. I read, yeah, I read it twice. So uh, one of the laws says, hey, it's better to say, hey, why haven't you come versus why do I see you all the time? Mm. So this is this explains why you can never really get Willie Millionaire unless you're either paying this nigga or he's doing the show. That's real. That's deep. That's deep. I can make that through. Damn. 
fuck me up with that one. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, man. I live. I live by that motto. Yeah. I live by that motto. You won't see me everywhere. You have to. Uh, it's a couple of exclusive places that I be at. But nigga, I'm at home. I got kids. You got, hey, that's I'm real. real. That's I'm real. real about that shit. I got kids. That's real. What's and a dog. That's and a dog. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how do you how do you balance your family life with everything that you got going on? You said you in these streets, you in the industry, not in the streets. Because you still have to find yeah, street. you still have to find what you think to make the, the Atlanta hit make a channel as a video. Do you just take artist submission of you upload right. anything? Because or is it quality over quantity? Like what's the what's the process? it is it is quality over quantity, but it is fifty dollars to have your video played okay. on the hit maker. Now, if you play this fifty dollars, you have your video played. You know okay. what I'm saying? If your video is shit, you're not gonna get played ever again. Okay. That's it. But if your video is dope, you know what I'm saying? I take it, I put it on the next week. If I think I like it again, I put it on the next That's week. Hard. You know what I'm saying? It's it's you can be on the hit makers, but if your shit is not of up to standard, right, then you're only gonna be featured once. Right. That's hard. What's and you got five cities doing that? Yes, sir. What's your favorite city outside of Atlanta? Because, of course, Atlanta's going to be your favorite city. Ooh. But outside of Atlanta, what do you get a better Ooh. content of an artist from? What's another of the five cities that you do? Los Angeles and Detroit. Okay. Are, you, are, your, are your favorite cities outside of Atlanta? Yes. Mm. Detroit, they, why? And then I always get, because they have artists that are just like, the hunger okay. for the game is different in Detroit, and of course it's, it's different in Los Angeles because everybody moves out to be a, a, a star or some shit. I guess. But um, yeah. it's, it's <laughs> the hunger. It's the hunger for me. You know what I mean? Because a lot of artists here in Atlanta think they are entitled. True. Mm. I, you're right about and that. And you guys know that being on the DJ yeah. side. Yeah, DJs think they're entitled too. Really? What? Man, listen. But you guys are the, you're the guys, the, the controller. I've always said this, like the DJs, they have their foot on the game. If the DJs don't like it, correct, then your shit does not get played. Right. I don't give a fuck if you pay two hundred dollars. Hey man, I got two hundred. Hey, I'll spend it right now. But this shit is ass. You get, co- get a course in a verse. Yeah. Oh, you get a course in a verse. It is. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> if I was a DJ and you paid and your shit is whack, your funny. shit will never get played. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, though. This is, and I respect that. I respect that because that's a, but sometimes you be in the club and they hitting up 40 people. Money 30, talk. That's all 30, I have to say. And, and, and pe- I'll take the money. But I ain't I've gonna, done it. I, I ain't going to make you look whack in front of people because if you come to the club with 25, it's different in a club versus a video. That's what I'm saying. So I, I'm not going to make you look All 25 of, of them motherfuckers should have told you before you came in here performing <laughs> this whack ass song that this shit is whack. But the funny True. thing is, had I heard that, I could make it be. Without the June bug, I might have thought that was whack. Yeah, so is yeah. is is it is being whack really subjective? Boy, you gonna make me take off my shade. What so, what really makes it whack? Because so there's a lot of songs that were whack that's popping. Let's have this conversation. Yes. So, if you're listening to a a hip hop song, mm-hmm. what do you listen for? Are you listening to the lyrics? Are you listening to the beats? What are you listening? Me for? personally, it, yes. I listen to sh- in the hip hop song. I listen to something that I can relate to. If I can feel it, if I can't relate to it, I go for the storyline, mm. or I go for like, if it's a real story to tell, or if I know you just going there, you punching five words. And, All right, producer, stop. Then you can come. At, like I can tell if you punching in your shit, or if I can tell if you just he's a real storyteller. But I gotta feel it, yeah. and mm. it gotta be. That's my point of a. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I got a different. Like my favorite, my, my favorite rapper was Meek Mill, and everybody's favorite rapper was Drake. Right. So it's it's a different. You know, we're different folks. Yeah, okay. I go for who I can relate to. All or, right, you know. all right. I, I'm sorry. I'm just used to being on the interviewing side, right. Of so on and so right. forth. Vito, yeah, what, what, what what are you looking for? <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Um, when I listen to music personally, it depends on the vibe I'm in. I could do my Benny the Butcher mm-hmm. and go Facts. crazy if right. I want a vibe. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But if I'm looking to try to find a hit and mm-hmm. get some money, mm-hmm. it is it's really it's really no box. Listen. I have to tell artists every day, we are in the business of selling records. True. Mm-hmm. If your shit don't knock, don't bring that shit to, to me. You. Yeah. Because we're selling records. Right. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wants to be famous. Everybody wants the money, so on and right. so forth. Nigga, if your music is not banging, you ain't getting shit. Right. You ain't doing nothing. Right. 
That's real. I, f- I believe in. I so believe that, that. So they gotta have a couple thousand, do- couple thousands of views before they come talk to you with a mm-hmm. video. No, because how, they might feel it not. They might feel it not. But when mm-hmm. it got to you, you might be like, man, mm-hmm. I'm not fucking that with shit. That shit trap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Boy, I've had niggas wait outside the radio station to fight me about some that. shit. Yeah. I believe. I just, hey man, that's trash. Niggas mm-hmm. be mad. Yeah, yeah they yeah. for real. It's a, yeah. I mean, it's true. It's a sensitive but subject. if you put on your song and your song makes a motherfucker say. Okay, all right. Who is that shit? I don't give a fuck if you got two views. Mm-hmm. I'm taking it. Mm-hmm. But you, and you know what's crazy though? Now the industry made things such as TikTok what makes a hit. Like mm-hmm. I, I never understood how a de- I mean I understand what makes. I mean it's the kids, of course. It's always been the kids because back when I was DJing, you know, in early 2002, 2003, me being like midway in college, we, the high schoolers is what made a song. Like mm-hmm. whatever the high schoolers was moving to back then when we was in college, that's what we knew to play in the college club. Mm-hmm. The high schoolers always knew, cause we didn't have the, we didn't have the, in, the uh, Instagram and we didn't have Facebook. It was shit, let me ca- call my little cousin. Hey, what y'all listening to? Yep, uh, right. What's over there, what's, what, they, what they banging to in high school? So, all right, so let me go check for that artist to see what's hot. But now it's like shit like TikTok. Mm-hmm. Like that, tr- that, that track star song blew up off of TikTok. TikTok, yeah. So that shit is crazy to me. Like it's, and it's a great song, but I mean, come on, man. It's a hey, good song. Listen, but people are like, mad. yo, he, I, I, you know, I, I ain't the type of, it's shout, a good song. Shout out Gaddafi yeah, on that one. Yeah. Gaddafi. It's a good song. But Gaddafi. I get, I get That's why, you know, you. I get why it works now. Because all the shit that is around that good song. That's why I say shout, That's to, real, that, that, shout out to Gaddafi. That's that all song, Gaddafi right It's there. a good song. In song. in this era, it's a great song in this era. Right. Awesome in this song. in this great era, it's a, it's a fucking it's awesome, a awesome ass song. Because look what's compared to that song. But in see, that realm, in, nothing. In, in, in yeah. this day and time, and and like I said, I don't want to tell my age. Right. But in this day and time, it's solely based around TikTok and it's crazy. Facebook, Instagram, shit like that. See, when we when I was doing my artist thing, okay. we didn't have the internet. The internet yeah. opened everything right made the world smaller yeah right. man and so um i think university sound if you ask me yeah listen artists i want to tell you right off the rip listen you are fucking pulling your fucking hair out about promotions and all this other shit the music industry is not what the fuck you think it is facts that is and facts. i'll leave that right there that facts. is facts but um like Hollywood, I never, I never forget Hollywood YC. The shit is gay. Remember Hollywood YC said that on camera. The shit is gay. He was like, the shit is gay. We gotta make that a clip next. We Shout do. Out Hollywood YC, we man. Do. We he do. was like, dick in the booty. I remember he said that shit on camera. I was like, whoa, I got nervous when he said. I that was like, what you mean? <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> I, was, I was nervous when he said this shit. He was like, yeah, this shit is gay. But I, I get I, to this day, I know, I still feel that. We shit. meet so many industry yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's shout like, out. see, yeah. y'all, y'all, the, y'all, fucking DJs. Yeah. I don't know how the fuck y'all do. It. It's mm-hmm. a couple people I done smacked. Yeah. I done met in the parking yeah. lot because y'all deal with a whole lot of bullshit. Yeah, real you do. shit. You deal with a lot of egos. It depends on how you move for real. Yeah, you it do. Yeah. I move a certain way, so you feel me? Yeah. If like they gonna respect you if you right. radiate. Respect, right? God damn it! Right. I'm gonna beat your ass. Yeah. So, if for Atlanta hitmakers, can you can you see yourself like being on like cable television in mm-hmm. midday when when kids get out of school they can watch? Because like, it's a, it's a dope name. It's, it has the professional side. It has the it can go. You know it what I mean? It ain't, it don't, it's just not a box their name, I guess. I am actually looking forward to doing a and I said it first right here on this podcast. I've been trying to do it for a year now, okay. but I look forward to doing a uh, comedy style type of thing, deaf, I mean, not deaf comedy jam, um, in living color mm. type of situation. That's hard. So um, uh, I, I just got my hands in everything, but I'm going to venture so far out from this. I, and I'll, I said it right here. I like I'm go- that though. I'm going to be the one that runs the music industry. I like that. That's real. That's real. So that's an immediate goal of Atlanta hit makers yeah. is to run. I like how you say the in living color kind of industry. perspective because that opened up. That's all performing arts. And see, yeah. Chappelle did something that was so fucking sweet. He started putting our mainstream artists like Most Def, mm-hmm. all those types of people. Yeah. He put them on their show. So okay, I want to have this show where we're gonna have a fucking good ass time and laugh our ass off. Yeah. And then your favorite performer comes to perform. That's hard. At the end. That's hard. So and the, and our favorite sitcoms. Martin used to do that. Martin mm-hmm. had Biggie on the episode. Yes. Yeah, um. The what culture. Yeah, it's the culture, and we need that. 
every yeah, we everything need that. has gotten so far away from the culture. We need that. But then again, it's our definition or our time of rap. We were standing for something. Mm -hmm. This is just this generation's interpretation of the situation. They getting money now. Yeah, it's all you about know what money. I'm saying? Hey, don't worry yeah. about that. It's all about they money now. They getting money now. They get money now, boy. If it's one of you motherfuckers plug me in, yeah, please. Yeah. <laughs> what what what's yeah. some of uh what's some of Atlanta hitmakers' biggest influences? Because you got your hands in every goddamn thing. So what 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 are, are we trying to? Be he said Arnell Star. I mean, Ar one. Like Arnell will be one. Okay. Um, I'm intrigued by gentlemen uh, such as uh, Puffy, uh, Jay. Uh, guys like Warren Buffett intrigues me. Mm. Uh, the things that uh. Uh, what's the other guy, his friend, his best friend, Bill Gates. Mm. Uh, the things that they're doing as far as technology, medical shit, even though, Bill, you're fucking up some shit, bro. <laughs> he say fucking up some shit. Um, <laughs> you read a lot. That's why he in the pot, he in the news <laughs> and stocks and all that. I can tell. You know, that's why you say he fucking up some yeah. shit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. But see, you for us to be in this type of industry, we can not help but to get into other shit. That's because that's this is a segue. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, uh, it's music. Yeah. We love doing music. We love being in front of the camera. But after a while, that shit gets old. Yeah, for sure. You always got to evolve. You mm -hmm. got to evolve to something better, especially if you got the bass tool. The ev ev evolution, um, excuse me, evolution of music. I tell niggas that all the time. Yeah. If you can't fucking survive the evolution, you're going to fucking fall off. That's why Jay does so well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shout out to Jay. That's how the situation was. I was just reading about that. All the shareholders that was entitled got like yeah, nine, nine point, million. Yeah, nine point something million. And, and they so they so versus the. Ch then I see the new. Y'all see the new. Who the first thing is gonna be? I think it's Trick Daddy versus Pastor Troy. Who the fuck? That shit gonna be gone. I think that's what Triller. I think that's gonna. Be, I think they say Pastor Troy said it on his social media last week. I don't know how official that is, but if it is, you heard it first. It you needs first to, here. You heard it, first. It, it, it needs to be a motherfucker in hip hop that be like, yo, what the fuck are y'all thinking about? I mean, I love Pastor Troy. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I'm, I'm a DSG beat up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But if you're thinking way outside of the box, how many people are really going to be like, oh shit, I want to see Pastor Troy? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. See, Tri yeah. I, I think this is the type of thing that sets. Artists apart from businesses. Artists see the immediate goal. Hey, I need to drop a single. I need to make sure it's hot. I need to go out here in the clubs doing so. I'm sitting in the background. Okay, you dropped your single. Okay, how do I market this bitch? Yeah. How do I make the people? So you don't think the verse is a good idea? Fuck. You don't think it's a good idea for artists to do? I, I, I'm. I mean, I love Pastor Troy, but who, who's gonna watch that? Somebody gonna watch it. Somebody's gonna watch it, and they and they gonna run them streams up. They gonna run them up. And I mean, get shit. A check. I mean, be, E Forty and Too Short did it. It it is it's, it's so not gonna be as if, big. I think as it's like it's it's, it's it's like it's a regional love thing. I think it's short region because I think it's like a they did D'Angelo and Friends. You know what I mean? Yeah, that was that. They how, how, how many views did they get? Yeah. Pastor Troy evolutionized motherfuckers. He, I know what y'all saying. I get what y'all saying. To me, he would, but to the world, I get what y'all. I fuck with. I look like I'm I love. South, I love. Pastor I'm from. But I'm saying, I'm, me being from South Carolina, I would say yes. That I'm fucking with that. But me being in Atlanta, Georgia, I'm saying no. Nah, to be honest with you, I would not watch a pastor. See, because so I, I so for the people that grew up in like different areas, smaller cities, more they gonna vouch for Detroit. But people that grew up in major cities, people that kind of game with ah, pastor. Troy. But Trick Daddy, so, I, so but people feeling Trick because he's from Miami. I'm fucking with Trick. See, people fucking with Trick. He's from a because what you going because girl, you don't know I mean? now. Trick. So it's, it, I see what you're saying. Dude, them niggas got 20 songs. Though, that's, that's that's 20 all, songs. I, I, they gonna do a seven song. They gonna do a 30 minute Man, verse. <laughs> seven songs each. Yo, tw 20 songs is hard for these major niggas too though. That's Cap. Bad, yeah. 20, 20, songs, 20, 20 songs is a stretch for these major niggas. So you right. Tw you right. 20 songs is like a fucking yeah, 20 songs full is a stretch. career yeah, now. I like you that. know? I, I said this shit would put it to 12 anyway. 20 is a stretch. 20 be too damn 20 long. 20 is a stretch. Be, that gotta be your favorite that, artist. If it's but a, still, if, yeah. with 20 songs, it's supposed to be a legendary motherfucker. Like, Jeezy and... Gucci? Yeah. Now, see... Yeah, although a that lot that changed the culture though. I yeah, 
I mean, even the brand. But they had twenty songs a piece. I, I think that one was also real beef. It real was more beef. real beef than anything. Like mm. They really had a real beef in the street. I had street. talks with people that was in yeah. there. Just like Brandy and Monica. The Brandy and Monica had a real beef in the real street. Real beef. You know what I'm saying? What, is, what in the fuck is them two chicks Brandy arguing about? So Brandy and Monica beef was, they left Brand, uh, Monica off the Waiting to Excel soundtrack. She, I love I don't, you, Monica. I mean, I'm just, for me being a hip-hop person, that's it was around that, where it was something about Brandy. They both had hit singles out, but Monica was... So, Monica was Monica at the time. Now, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Brandy song didn't make the way. Are you going to put on Monica before Brandy? Shit. Are you that's for the serious? women. That's for Are the women. Are you serious? That's for the because she from Monica from Atlanta. So She's okay. So you can't say all right. You just right. see all right. See? All right. So you all can't. Right. We'll say, I'm still Monica. You, you can't you, ask oh, uh, Monica, Atlanta. My now boy. listen. <laughs> think about these. The and, and we'll go to the <laughs> "Waited to Exhale" soundtrack. Okay. Think about that shit. Probably was heavy. But I gotta I gotta look at that track list. Man. That shit probably was heavy. Heavy. <laughs> shout out to Babyface. Yeah. Shout. I bet, you, I bet you that sounds could, that crazy. I got to go look at that lineup for that sounds. Could, do you think that Monica could have held a candle to sitting up in my room? Yeah. That's, that's. You that's, think so? Do y'all think so? Y'all think so? Hey. She got that bang. Just one of them days. That's just one of them days. So, probably, so, so that depends. song go, go. It depends. It, that so, song that's killing that's, that song. <laughs> what? That's, that shit's killing that song. All right. So we're, <laughs> we'll, we'll think about it. Baby, because I love you so much. All right, what's 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 Brandy's hottest song? I think So Gone. So Gone. I think. Oh, Monica. Oh, Brandy. Oh, yeah, damn. You talking about. Oh, Brandy. The Boy Is Mine. But it got Monica on it. Yeah, it's got Monica on it. Shit. It does. I mean. Oh, man. Wait a minute. She got some, she got some shit. She got some shit. She got some shit now. You know what I'm saying? I just, um, I just love her vocals a little bit more. Her vocals were more soothing, and they fit that project you know what I'm saying not to take away from Monica I love you Monica she got a husband too um, her vocals would be more was it I want to be down was that Brandy or Monica I want to be down that's Brandy it's Brandy oh you down. like Brandy huh I'm just saying I like ah. I want to be down so they both got hits, hits. they both so the, the subject is they both got 20 hits they both got 20 hits that's the subject. Oh, yeah. they both got 20 hits so I think I think Brandy would be more for the relaxing, the yeah, relaxing, you know yeah, what I'm saying? for sure. I think Monica would be more like for the hey, rest, for the home. turned up chick. Yeah, well, no, not the turned up as necessarily. I do not. See, y'all about to make Love this. You I think that was the worst. Y'all trying, uh, to, y'all, have a, y'all, y'all trying to make this a debatable uh, interview, man. That's I a don't, real but debatable shit, interview. Why not? <laughs> I don't. I, I don't, like both of them. I don't. I don't. I, don't, I, don't, I like Keisha I Cole and the Shanti. Keisha Cole's music. Yeah, like I don't. I don't like Keisha Cole's music. She's talented. Yeah, she's talented, but I... I you got to so be in the mood for Keisha's music. She's like a mood type of person. Like she closed the club. You got to be in the mood. You play love, and it's time to go. Yeah, it's time to go. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, other than that, I don't really know. I mean, I've heard some Keisha Cole shit, but I'm I'm just not in... I'm she not ain't got 20, that. that's for sure. <laughs> she, had the, she had 20. She ain't got 20. Y'all boy savage today. Uh, Sha- uh, Shanti ain't got 20 either. Oh, mm-hmm. boy savage. Love you, Shanti. These boys are savage today, yes, but now nah, we're saying that man, hip hop is in a good space. I think um, I'm ready to see what what this year is gonna bring if when it opens back up. Mm-hmm. I want to see if I want to see what's the push. Like, is it gonna be the A list celebrities like the you know the Drakes, the Chris's, the Chris, Br- you know the major artists, or it's gonna be a push from the who's like I want to see what the push gonna be because Poo- the Pooh Shiesty is making noise in the streets. The Shiesty making that noise. Pooh Shiesty going see, crazy in the you streets. You know the crazy thing about this is that shit has forced the majors. The fuck with the independent artists. I like that. They, they, I like they that. Forced them. To I like fuck that. Because when the shit shut down, every independent artist was out here y- working. Yep. I like that. You I like. I mean? I, that's one thing I did notice. Also, the pandemic is doing. It mm-hmm. causes like you know, like say your majors to fuck with your independent and the producers too. Because mm-hmm. you had a lot of big name celebrity producers that was saying that I need, but now they when the pandemic hit. It caused people to let me go check out this sound and see what he's talking about. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. shout out to the game I and mean, shout out to where the music at. Okay, so, yeah. uh, what what can you plan for? You? What you got planned for the? 2021. I guess twenty twenty one to to end your year. What's what's something a so milestone for you for the rest of the year? This year, um, I'm really hoping that uh, we get picked up with this single on national radio. Uh, go and stream. She's a pro. Okay. Uh, it is produced by the Hood A and R. Okay. Um. 
the remix is coming up. I have the Yin Yang Twins on the remix. That's hard. Um, they on that new song right now. Yeah, they with the are Godzilla. Fucking Godzilla. going wild. Yeah. Yin Yang Twins on the new song right now with Godzilla. Club. Yeah, yeah. They just shot. We just shot the video. Well, excuse me. First of all, shout out to uh, their manager. Shout out to uh, Kane. Shout out to D Rock. Um, we just shot the video maybe about two weeks ago. Okay. So uh, it's gonna be. F- I don't. I don't want to spoil it, but it's gonna be okay. super fucking dope. Okay. I believe it. Um, that and really, I'm dropping two singles this year. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna push two singles. And we're going to get this TV conglomerate shit together. Yeah. Um, I intend on by the end of the year work opening up a network, and uh, you know what I'm saying just looking for content creators. That's dope. What makes you wanna? You know, you said hip hop and has got away from the culture. What makes you wanna jump back into the rap game? Like you? <laughs> I can't leave rap alone. The gang needs me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, I just, I just, uh, for some odd reason. I just fucking love the rap, you mm. know what I mean? Um, I'm a writer, I'm a producer, an engineer, so on and so forth, this, that, and the third. I could do it all, but I just fucking love the rap. Mm. So, eh, I don't know. Maybe it'll do something. Maybe. Yeah, you know, maybe. <laughs> maybe. It's, it's, you know, 600,000 songs come out a day. So you know how many day. fans that is? 600,000 songs come out a day. Damn, yeah. do I have to be standing on the cu- uh, the front cover butt naked for your baby mama to motherfucker pick <laughs> nah, up the CD? Nah, good, good music gonna speak for itself. Yeah, and, and I believe yeah, that. Yeah, I believe speak. that. I if um, if you turn on, somebody told me if you turn on the song and you can have a conversation over it, it's a good music. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I like that. I like that. Definitely looking forward to seeing what Atlanta hit makers got, man. You've been rocking with me for a minute, so you know yeah, we'll keep it moving. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Definitely keep working, man. We meant sure. to do a live hip hop deli slash Atlanta hip hop thing for Atlanta one day. Man. Come, come on! Yeah. I'm state to state now, guys. I'm trying to catch up with y'all. Nah, we trying to we trying to make it worldwide too. Physically, physically show up in places. Facts, yeah, facts, facts. Mm-hmm. facts, facts. Mean, mean time to the between time. We out of here, man. As the as the year open up, Vito. Man, you going back to Texas next, this, tomorrow, man? What's up, man? Yeah, I'm going back Monday. I'm going back Monday, man. But we'll be back next week, man. Live Hip Hop Daily, man. You know it's cook up. Vito, let's get it.